Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to install Drupal 10 on WAMP server. So first we need to download the setup file of Drupal 10. Visit drupal.org, scroll down and at, in the footer you will find link Drupal core. On the download page, click the Drupal 10 and here you can download the setup file of Drupal 10. I'm going to download .gif file. So after downloading .gif file, stack this and place the stacked folder in your VAM folder. So I have my VAM installed in D VAM. So I'm going to put my Drupal 10 folder here. D VAM www Drupal 10 and you can see this is, these are the set of files of Drupal 10. After this, we need to create a database. So, widget localhost slash PSP my admin and click database and create a database for our Drupal 10 site. I have already created, so I am skipping this step. Now, the next thing is set up the PSP version. So here, click RAM server icon and then go to PHP, then version and select PHP version 8.0 or 8.1. So for this tutorial, I am selecting 8.0.13. You can select 8.1.0 also. So after selecting PHP version, to 8.0 or 8.1 visit your Drupal site so I have my Drupal set of located in ramp www Drupal 10 so I'm going to open localhost slash Drupal 10 and they say that minimum version is 8.1.0 required so let's change the PHP version to PHP, PHP version to 8.1.0. So this will take a few seconds. Okay, so we have now PHP 8.1.0. We can verify same from here. You can see here PHP 8.1.0 is selected. Okay, so now I load this page. Okay, so now it's uh, saying to select a language and we to select English, save and continue. Select an installation profile and we to select the standard, save and continue. And it is asking for database that I've already created. So my database name is Drupal 10. Database username on VAM server by default is root and password is blank. So these are the default things on VAM server. Now click save and continue. So installation of Drupal has started. So let's wait for some time. So installation has completed. Now we need to enter basic site configuration. So site name, Drupal your email address, your username, so I'm going to keep admin, password, address, confirm password, email address, you can keep anything, and default country, you can select time zone, so I'm selecting India, and check for update manually, these are just optional, save and continue. So our Drupal 10 website is ready. So this is the front page, default front page. And now you can start playing with the site. Thank you.